Yo, Elliot, how do you balance your execution of potential versus expanding your potential through reading, learning, further, and becoming better? Do you split it into specific sequences in your day? For example, morning uh, execution and being practical and evening being more open-minded and learning and focused? I would appreciate hearing the ups and downs of your business journey and how you managed to build such an impressive brand and business for yourself. My months vary in success and I feel the chaos of jumping between marketing sales versus innovation. I have not learned how to automate most of my selling process. Maybe that needs to be my number one priority. So there's a lot of things to kind of unpack here with your question. And so I'm going to begin with the first part of your question was how do you balance execution of your potential, right? Doing what you got to do with what you got versus expanding your potential through lead, reading and uh, you know further research and things of that nature. The first thing that comes to mind with regard to that is that we live in seasons. Everything happens in seasons. There's a time for planting and there's a time for harvesting, right? And so you're talking, to, basically you're talking about planting and harvesting, reaping and sowing, right? And so there's gonna be a time when you have to plant seeds and planting seeds may come in the form of expanding your mind through learning, right? Every time you read, like, look, I could read this book about canning, freezing, curing, smoking meat and game, but I'm not going to be able to do it until I've read this book. Cause you know what this book is going to do? It's going to plant seeds in my head. I'm going to start having ideas. I'm going to start looking around my yard. Okay. Where could I set that up? Where could I do this? Hmm. And I might just lay in my hammock for a little bit and digest the idea. Hmm. And you know what? Weeks might go by. And this, I could give you some real life examples if I think about it. Weeks might go by and then all of a sudden, bang. It's like, okay, it's ready. It's time. It's time. I'm going to set up my canning thing. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to set up my smoker, whatever it is. The point is that there's a time to consume and there's a time to produce. And it could, when I say seasons, it literally could mean months, right? A lot of times we have to, we think that, you know, I got an idea. I need to go execute it now. You know how many mistakes I've made? You know how many fat, half-ass, slap dick, fucked up projects I did because I got an idea and I went to go do it right away, <laughs> right? A lot of times when we plant seeds, not every seed is supposed to grow too. There's a lot of ideas that you may have, right? A lot of ideas that, that you, you, you may entertain, but they're not the right ideas for you, so you gotta let them sit. You gotta let them sit. One of the things that we gotta do is be a little patient. When you get drawn to an idea, like earlier we were talking about, you know, 50 steps to prepping. That's a long list. That's a long list I gave you guys. And half of that list I haven't executed myself yet, but I'm not stressed about it because I know there's, there's, I know myself well enough and I know that you probably will have the same experience that there's gonna come a day where I'm like, I'm gonna do it all in that one day, right? I'm still prepping my mind, I'm getting my education, I'm getting my information. Then all of a sudden, boom, one day it's like it's, like it's already done. My dad talks about this a lot because my dad does like a lot of projects around his house and he'll think about a project that he wants to do. He'll think for months about it and then he'll like buy parts for it. He'll buy some of the hardware for it. And he'll just sit it there. He'll just sit it there. And he'll think about it and then he'll kind of like plan it out. And then one day it seems like almost overnight the whole thing is done. You got to give yourself, you got to give yourself the same grace that is in nature. nature. Nature proceeds based on grace, right? When it's like right now, it's hot. It's summertime, right? I'm in Florida. I'm, I'm burning. I wish it was wintertime right now because I just want it to be cool. I want to enjoy my new house out in the backyard. I want to light a bonfire, right? But I give nature the grace of having its seasons. I say, look, ain't nothing I can do about it. It's the season right now of heat. And a season of cool is going to come, but I can't force it, right? So you got to kind of know what season you are in. Are you in a season of consumption or production? There are times when you're going to be in a season of production and you can't consume. I've, that's where I've been. I've been there too. Where I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, and I'm almost, I'm almost working so hard that my sword or my axe is getting dull. I'm actually there right now, in a way. My, my, my axe is getting kind of dull because... 
I've been working. I'm just working. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. But I have all these books. I have all these ideas. I bought courses. I got like three courses sitting on my computer, right? I got one right here that I want to buy because it's going to help me train my daughter a little bit better. And I'm like, man, like... I'm working so much, I'm producing so much that I have no time to consume. But guess what? I don't fret. I used to fret. I used to worry. I used to, it used to bother me when I was younger. But now I realize it's okay. Just let it sit there. Let it sit there until all of a sudden it's going to be like out of nowhere. It's crazy how it works. Because the difference between the seasons of the year and the seasons in, of a man is that it's not based on the it's not based on the the, the 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 earth and the sun moving around each other. It's based on a lot of other different things that I'm not even going to get into, right? I mean, all kinds of different we're operating on so many different clocks, right? We got so many different clocks that rule our lives. Individual clocks and collective clocks that rule our life. And just like the position of the moon dictates when the when the um when the tide comes in, you can't take a boat out if the tide is not in. Where you going, where you going with that boat there, buddy? The tide's all the way out. But when the tide comes in because the, because the timing is right and the moon is where it's supposed to be, then you put that boat in there and it carries you off. You don't even have to do any work. You just put the boat in there and you're gone. This other dude trying to drag his boat through the sand, trying to get out there when it, the, the, it's not the right time. And so you got, I would say break it, your thought. You, you say potential you say execution versus expanding. That's a good way. The way I say it is consumption versus production. Are you consuming or are you producing? And you're gonna have and you're gonna have those two seasons because they're seeping and reaping and so on, and they're based on laws, right? Now there are micro, macro cycles in your life. I'm kind of talking about a bit of a macro cycle, even in terms of like what is appropriate for different uh, ages, like you know when you're in your 20s, when you're 30s, when you're 40s. Those are different seasons, completely different seasons, different times. Those are like macro cycles. Your next question is you say, do you split into specific sequences in your day? That's a micro cycle, right? You can't consider micro cycles until you consider macro cycles. So get, your, get that through your head first that there are macro cycles. There's a season for certain things. And you can't, you can't make the boat go out if the tide is not in. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. It's based on just clocks, right? All kinds of clocks. Now, you have your micro cycle, your daily cycle. And this is where I want to uh, direct you to my massive action course. When you sign up for King Transformation, the very first thing I give you guys is access to my massive action plan. The massive action plan basically lays out how I execute my days, how I plan my activities, everything I do every single day based on the calendar. And what do I tell you about the calendar? You need to have structure and flow. Structure and flow. So with, with the, what are the structures? Blocks, right? You say, do you uh, sequence, how do you sequence your day? You know, morning being practical, evening being learning. So you're basically saying, do you uh, con uh, produce in the morning and consume in the evening? That's not a bad plan. That's not a bad plan. In fact, that's what works best for me. The things that must get done, I must do, I must produce, I do them early in the day as possible. I need to chop that list down. I have a list and I start working on that list. Bang, 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 bang. I know every morning for me, top priority at this point, because there are different seasons where different priorities take over, right now my priority is my training. All right? So I get up in the morning, I do a little reading, read a little Bible verses here and there, uh, have my coffee, then I start stretching, I get my dogs, and then I go do my workout and my filming crew is here, right? So I'm producing, and then when I'm done with that, I, that's usually when I get on the call here with you guys or I start answering emails, I'm producing, I'm producing, I'm working. By the time, literally around four o'clock, four o'clock I switch. And you guys will see when I come back here at 7, I have my glasses on. When I put my blue blocking glasses on, that's evening time. That's how I, it, And for me, it's kind of like a, a psychological switch, too. About 4 o'clock, I put on my, put on my uh, blue blockers. What do I call them? Swannies. My Swanwick glasses. And once I put those on, now I'm in consumption mode. Now I'm doing a little bit more. Maybe I'm just doing some research on the Internet 
or consumption means rest. That might be the time when I just kind of lay back a little bit. I might uh, do some planning at that time, look around at what I want to do. You see what I'm saying? So you're active in the morning and then passive work in the evening. That's a good way to do it. Once again, you create that structure, but have flow within your structure. Have flow within your structure. Be willing to uh, be flexible with that. And you say my months vary in success and I feel the chaos jumping between marketing and sales and versus innovation. Um, one of the lies, you know, I love our culture in terms of capitalism. I like capitalism. I love capitalism because it offers an opportunity for any man to rise up out of the gutter and make something of himself. It really does. There's no better. There's no better system. If you want socialism, you're not. There's going to be no motivation. There's no motivated people in a in a socialist country or in a communist country. There's no reason to be motivated to innovate, especially if the government's going to take what you make anyway, right? So, but in a capitalist country, you get paid based on your hustle to a degree, right? And so, we have this tendency to think especially as a solopreneur you know guys like me guys like you where it's like you know it all it all kind of rests on us um that there needs to be perpetual progress but that's like saying it should be perpetually summertime i don't think it's sustainable and i don't think it's practical to think that every month is going to beat the last month you may have a season of that as your business is growing and then you may have some seasons where it kind of takes tapers off a little bit. I think we just got to go with that flow. You just got to go with that flow. Hey, this month wasn't as good as last month. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? What could I do better next time? Right? That's all you got. Every single time you can say that to yourself. What I do right? What I do wrong? How am I going to proceed? Is it a good month or is it a bad month? You just want to you want to you want to take a look, right? You want to be honest and then you you know, then you move forward. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.